All right. So I wanted to actually take a picture of uh, the lagoon and the trifid nebula using the hyperstar system. I took that using my 8SE hyperstar before, but now I wanted to test it out with the DSLR. I know moon is going to come between 10 and 11. So if it gets a slightly darker at 10, I'll just take a few minutes of the lagoon shots before it gets like too much moon glow and see how the system is going to work. This is the DSLR camera. This is a Canon T4i. So this one has a SkyTech CLS light pollution filter inside. You don't need to have a light pollution filter, but moon is going to come. Ideally, you can use like a battery so you can actually avoid one, one cable that goes out. Of course, this goes into your computer. If you don't want to use computer, you can take this cable off too. So you will have no cables, just DSLR. That's the beauty of using the DSLR. You have to get this adapter from Star Arizona and they give you the right adapter for your Canon or other DSLRs out there, Nikon DSLRs out there. So this adapter essentially will have two things. One is uh, the back focus that is needed and also, if you take a look at it, it actually will have a filter system. So you can actually put like narrowband filters or light pollution filters, like a 30 mm light pollution filters inside. If you wanted to get narrowband filters, I recommend getting astronomic narrowband filters. These ones, the ones that are 50 mm in size, and then they are like 12 nanometers. So these are going to be okay, even if you are using like a DSLR camera and uh, they don't like take away too much signal. If you use like three nanometers or seven nanometers or 10 nanometers, the F2 systems tend to overcorrect and uh, you don't get what the signal that you need. It is called CWL shift, the center wavelength shift and uh, it changes how much signal you can take. So it's better to use uh, any wider filters. There are specific F2 border filters for these, but uh, these filters will cut it. It will do the job very well. Okay, so let's, uh, let's put this back. So this will, the another thing is, uh, if you wanted to take filters, once the camera is installed, you won't be able to take the filters in and out. So you have to take the camera out and change the filters. I, I think that's the only drawback that I saw uh, in this system because the back focus is so small, the face of the camera actually comes on top of it. Okay, so you need to lock this so that it won't kind of move. And uh, all you have to do is uh, connect this back. All right, so now Let's put the DSLR back. This is Canon T4A DSLR, as I was telling. I did put a SkyTech CLS light pollution filter in there. This is also astro modified. You don't need to astro modify, but if you want to take like a deep sky objects, uh, better to use an astro modified camera so that you can actually get a better signal if you are using an astro modified camera. So you map this red dot on top to this uh, red dot here. It's getting a little dark. quite windy out here. So anyway, I'm fairly new to the DSLR. So if I'm making mistakes, please do let me know. Uh, anyway, so I got these two cables here. Of course, I wanted to put the dew shield back so that it gives you some kind of a protection at least. <laughs> 